First slide, please. Oh, there's me. Hi. <laughs> That's the day we released uh, Pinkerton, the album we'll be playing tomorrow. Wow, that's a nice screen. That's the nicest one we had so far in this whole tour. You can see everything. All the ugly details. Next slide, please. When the band started, <laughs> we lived, at least some of us lived on Stoner Avenue. Now, a lot of people don't believe that, but uh, it's true. So I took a picture of the street sign to prove it. <laughs> Next slide, please. This house is 2226 Amherst Avenue. This house is uh, best known as what you see when you open up the blue album in the inside. That's the garage in there. Sort of the band rehearsed for uh, about a year and a half, two years, and then we filmed the Sadie So video there. Next slide, please. In that video, you see the camera fly into the living room. That's what it looks like. Next slide, please. It careens into the kitchen, takes a right. Headed to, right straight ahead is the garage. The garage. <laughs> Next slide, please. And there it is. Or at least... <laughs> there it was several years after we moved out. That house ended up nurturing many more bands after Weezer moved out. Next slide, please. Ooh, an early flyer. Club dump. We've come a long way, I think. <laughs> Next slide, please. Here's one. We played in a place called English Acid, another well-named place. And in this one, I took a old uh, advertisement for a stun gun, and I altered the uh, language. So she's actually trying to get to the Weezer concert, and this guy kind of accosts her. He goes, hey, there's something under your arm. And she, you know, zaps him, and takes off, and gets to the Weezer concert. That's 1992 there. That's a long time ago. Next slide, please. Here's an early set list, closely resembling what you're about to see. Not exactly, but close. <laughs> That's a nice screen, you can see everything. Next slide, please. Alright, the first written review of the band, October 2, 1992, in the Bay Area Music Magazine. Let's zoom in with the next slide. Next slide, please. Another band that was trying far too hard to prove something or other was Weezer. This band was probably the most blatant Nirvana wannabe that I've seen yet. <laughs> and while a slower song at the front end of their set had its moments, the remaining tunes left much to be desired. Ooh, ooh, that's a burn. Woo! <laughs> Next slide, please. But you know what? What are they complaining about? It was free, for God's sake. <laughs> we made those and put them all over town in LA, and people immediately pasted over them. Next slide, please. There's another one with Black Market Flowers, a band that also had a song called Michael and Carly because Michael and Carly met them first and befriended them. They were a great band. It's really too bad they didn't stick together. So, uh, hats off to them. Our fan club girls, Michael and Carly, we miss them very much. Next slide, please. Those fan club girls, Michael and Carly, made the coolest thing ever. A box of replica talismans from the Kiss movie, The Elder. It looked like this. You opened it up. Next slide. There they were. Those are pretty damn cool. They handmade those things. And uh, the little message there had quotes from the elder of the film. And it was their good luck to the band when we went off to record the Blue Elf. I think, I think it worked out pretty good. <laughs> the funny thing is, you see a copy of Windows 95 there. <laughs> That's where people saw Buddy Holly first. <laughs> Next slide, please. There's our buddy Pat Finn in the uh, Gramercy Park Hotel downtown, and uh, he's wearing the very first ever Weezer shirt. We made 20 of those. That was in 1993. Next slide, please. There's Rick Ocasek himself in Electric Lady down at 8th, 8th Street. Coolest guy ever, <laughs> with the coolest house ever. Next slide, please. There they are in Electric Lady working on it, wondering why their amplifiers kept getting turned up when they went to lunch. That was Jimi Hendrix's ghost, according to the people that worked there. Next slide, please. And here he is. there's Rivers again, working at an organ. I don't think that made it onto the Blue Album. Those are some of Rico Cassick guitars there. Next slide, please. Here's uh, Brian Bell's audition tape. Hi, Weezer. Please enjoy this fine recording. Compliments of Radio Shack and Brian Bell. I hope to see you in New York soon. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> well, 
all we were trying to, all uh, Rivers was trying to figure out is, can this guy sing? And he could sing. So we brought him out to New York and he joined the band. Next slide, please. Here he is in the grammar seat. Look how happy he is. <laughs> Next slide, please. Then we are uh, rehearsing, getting ready. And uh, you see the, uh, the drum head there, which we've recreated for this tour. Bacchus, our, our wonderful mascot, our evil mascot. <laughs> Next slide, please. And there it is, in its damaged state that it now is in. But we recreated it. Next slide. Now, we tried to come up with ideas for the cover for the Blue Album. This one didn't fly. You can't have a toilet on the cover, it's just not right. Next slide, please. And that one didn't fly either, but it's got some good, you know, gangsta style. Next slide, please. Now we started to get somewhere. <laughs> Next slide, please. And then we thought of, well, what's the font going to be? What's the logo? In the middle there, you see a little river drawing of his idea of the uh, album. Next slide, please. And that was, that's the river's sketch. He said, let's make it look like this. <laughs> Next slide. There's my interpretation of that. Attempted interpretation. Next slide, please. And finally, <laughs> it came out, and five seconds later, a bunch of people said, Hey, you're just copying the feelies. Hmm. We're like, who are the feelies? And then we found out that it's a pretty similar cover. We didn't know. But we're actually copying the Beach Boys, the little cassette up there. <laughs> Next slide, please. So now that we had a real poster, we can make, you know, real flyers. And now uh, there's that dog, our, our, our great friends from uh, L.A. Wonderful, wonderful people. Very fun touring with them. Next slide, please. And then we had to get a van to tour in. So we got a 1985 Dodge Custom Maxi van for five grand from a guy that looked exactly like Muammar Gaddafi. I kid you not. Exactly. It was really strange. Uh, we, we tested it out for about three minutes. We were kind of in a hurry. We should have tested it a little bit longer. Next slide, please. But look how cool it looked. <laughs> we pulled up in the venues and that people were like, whoa, nice. But it broke and it went from being named the Enforcer to Betsy. Next slide, please. And uh, on the side, we put a bumper sticker. Pat Wilson put a bumper sticker, I love my wife. That's pretty cool. It also uh, kept people from thinking there was a band in there. Next slide, please. There's Rivers moving his own gear. That's back in the day when we had to do that. He did a good job, though. He knew what he was doing. Next slide. The first day we had a tour bus ever. We were going to open for live in the fall of 1994. <laughs> Did that come through this venue? I can't remember. I think it might have. It, you know. Next slide, please. There they are, up the top right. I don't know what he's doing. He looks kind of dazed. There's Ed Kowalczyk, nice guy. We took the Polaroids on that tour. Next slide, please. But the, but the camera broke, and it started taking these sudden psychedelic things, so we, just, we kind of ran with it. Next slide, please. And there's an image of rivers I drew on a European tour. I just kind of thought it looked cool. Little sketch. Next slide. And there's the coolest poster I ever saw. The, the, uh, the, uh, the club over in uh, the Netherlands. They made a silk screen. I just thought, my god, that's awesome. So I grabbed one and framed it. Next slide, please. And there's the amp you see on stage tonight. I think the slideshow is about at its end. Is the next slide black? Let's see. Next slide. That's it for the slideshow. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm